Oh, it's hard work. Oh, it's hard work. It's 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 not easy because you got to get out. You got to get out there. Them plants can't take care of themselves. You know, you got to get out there. You got to dig. You got to pull those weeds. You got to bend over and keep planting seeds one by one. You got to pick. You got to you got to pull. You got to be able to allow those plants to grow. The name of the program is the Horticulture Specialist Apprenticeship Program. The ultimate goal is to provide jobs for our offenders when they're released and to provide employees for, for farmers and agriculture businesses that need workers. We start this program from the beginning before they even purchase their seeds. So we draw out their, their planting area, their field. They do their calculations, they find out how many seeds to buy, and they purchase them. We start planting the seeds while they're growing in their little trays. We're teaching them soil fertility. Then we go to the fields. And when we go to the fields, we actually plant them in the fields. They learn biology of the plant itself. We're gonna learn what the pests are, how they're gonna prevent them. We're growing it, we're growing it food safe, we're doing all those practices. We're teaching them post-harvest sampling. All the methods for tracing the food. They will get a certificate for the OSHA 10. They will get a certificate for the Food Safety Modernization Act. They'll get a certificate for the HACCP plan. The overall certificate, which they get through the Department of Labor. So they walk away with a lot of certificates. There's a lot of things I didn't know that farming has to deal with. It, it, it teaches you so much. It's, it's just so much. It's, it packs your head full of stuff. It's not just plant it and pick it. <laughs> You're doing this. You're taking a seed and making it into a full-size plant. You should be prideful for it. You should be proud of that accomplishment. I mean, from a tiny little seed to a full-size pepper plant, and then you're eating off of that, you know what I mean? That's, that's something to be uh, proud of. It, it really is. We're a hydroponic producer in southeast Missouri. We can produce 20 times more per acre than what a what a conventional farm producer, dirt producer, you know, outside producer would do. During this project here, we actually got approached by a couple of people saying, "Hey, would you be interested in looking at doing something from an agricultural standpoint and employing uh, inmates soon to be released?" And the more and more that I thought about it, the more and more that I liked it. Uh, the one thing with Southeast Missouri is our labor force is, is not a real strong labor force especially in construction or production. Uh, not just with what we do with greenhouses, but even out in the conventional row cropping, you know, driving a tractor, working on a farm, you know, uh, hauling grain. So it, it, it's been a good fit. Well, Amanzi wanted to be a, a, a part of that team that changes it. They wanted to break that cycle. Let's start something new. Let's have some people actually come out here and be successful at something. He stepped into with the Department of Corrections, allowed us to come out there and work with him in building his company. You actually wake up with energy and you're happy to go to work and you're, you're enthused, enthused about actually doing something. You're actually putting your time and your effort and your thoughts and your passion into, into what you're doing. The experience of Doing the hydroponic system itself is, is something amazing. It's, it's a lot of things you have to go into. It's a lot of fertilizing, make sure the water is the right temperature for the plant to grow out of, uh, make sure you have the right nutrients for the plant to grow out of and everything like that. So with the certificates that we've gotten, the knowledge that we will gain from this, I have no doubts that you could land a job in the agricultural field aside from right here. We have to have a meaningful partnership with an employer to even make a real apprenticeship work. I don't know of a better chance or a better opportunity for an individual coming out. Agriculture is huge here in Missouri and the Blue Hill has a lot of strong, large farmers. You know, we're hoping through the grant opportunities to lay that good foundation to where we can prove that this does pay off. They're smart enough to build stuff. They're smart enough to grow stuff. They're smart enough to do a lot of stuff. But I know that when they get out, they want another avenue besides the one that got them there. 